So pretend this is a roadway. This is the horizon. Here's a lonely soul walking away. So, and you know that there are five or six poles that are physically, they're spaced equal. So you sort of fake in perhaps one in the distance. You guess the one closest to you. But how do you find the one that's in the center? Uh, if you took a ruler and measured it and then just divided it, that would not be correct. So the easy thing to do is draw a very faint X connecting the top to the bottom and the top to the bottom there. And wherever that crosses, that's the center. Obviously that looks much closer because things tend to look smaller and closer together as they recede in space. And then you just continue doing that. And that's the center of that. And that's the center of that. And on and on to infinity. <laughs> it's just a very easy but very useful way to break up space without having to get too lost in the, uh, the weeds. So if you're drawing an arch, the very same thing applies. <laughs> That's your horizon. So this would be a good example, but if there are four arches in this wall, for example. Eyeball the nearest vertical and the furthest away. You draw a very pale or invisible. That's the center. Do it again. Then you have to figure out where does the arch start? Does it start down here? In this case, it's up almost at the horizon line. So there will be a base on each of these pillars. four sides to the we can see. So then you know that there's an arch somewhere in here. It's the exact principle. Do you take a ruler and measure that? No. You can, but then your arch will look lopsided. So the arch begins to spring from there and there, and you need to find the apex. So you just do an X between that and that. And that's the center of the arch. Then you just connect the dots. <laughs> Same thing here. So, uh, arches have depth almost always. If they're stone, of course, they can be quite thick. But um, once you establish this line, and you know you're seeing that part of the arch, you just mirror that curve. Exactly the same, that's set in. And then there you go. Once you do that a few times, you can start seeing these X's in your mind without actually having to draw them all.